Hey, what is up everyone? Chris here, back with another video. Today is going to be about the Nextbit Robin. So Paranoid Android just released their 7.0, um, essentially, ROM update for the Robin and Pixel and a lot of other devices. And so I went ahead and flashed that. Um, the previous ROM was actually only running Marshmallow, so they've been behind, thought I would check it out and see how it runs. Let's go ahead and dive into some of the new features of the Paranoid Android ROM. All right, guys, so we're here with Paranoid Android 7.2. And with ROMs, we like to see what they're running. So we can see here it is 7.1.2. This is their stable 7.2 release. But unfortunately, it doesn't give a list of like a security patch, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, fairly recent. I'm not sure why they don't have that. Paranoid has worked hard in removing bugs on this build, seeing as now it is out for more devices, including the Robin, um, OnePlus 3T, Pixel, things like that. But everything is very stable, as you can see. Of course, with Paranoid, you do have the options to be able to change your location easily and a nice, elegant type look there. One of the main changes they have added is the new theming engine. And we'll go into display to take a look at that. And this color engine here, basically, you're going to be able to now change to like a dark mode, a gray, black, and a pixel option. Um, so that's nice, you're able to have that customization. And then finally, you have the ability for the accent colors to be changed. Um, so these are all the predefined colors. Unfortunately, you can't specify or create your own color with like a color mix or anything like that. Um, so that's nice, this will change the color of the accents in the setting menu, um, for example, in your brightness slider there as well. So that's a nice little touch. Um, with this, they've also improved the, the compatibility and stability with substratum themes. So if you are one that uses those, this will fully support substratum, which is another great plus. Gestures, we have the ability to open the camera from double pressing um, the power button and then also the double tap to sleep of the status bar which works just fine but there's no double tap on the screen to turn it on um, that is something that only works if the display has that type of sensor built in the next bit robin does not have that so unfortunately it's going to waste more battery to have um, the screen kind of searching for those double presses sort of thing. Um, next is the buttons. You have additional customizations by swapping the back and recents keys left and right. So if you prefer one way or another, and then you also have long press, double press of the, each of these customized to apps, things like that, double press of the home to open the camera as well, which is something that is nice. Of course, with Android, you still get all the features of split screen, things like that, that are in Android. Again, everything is running very smooth in this ROM. Um, opening apps, switching between them has been fantastic and a breeze. Um, I did run into issues upon first installing this ROM um, when I'm setting up basically the backup of all of my apps on Google. Um, it was basically making the phone freeze and lock up and run really slow, so I just had to leave it for several hours um, for it to restore all of those apps. Um, but now everything's running fine, rebooted the device, um, wiped the cache, Dalvik, Art, that sort of thing, and everything's working fine. Um, do not install um, forced dose. I did run into the phone basically freezing and forced rebooting. Um, when I had that app installed and once I've uninstalled it, it um, has been much more stable. As you can see here, I have Magic uh, Magisk um, Manager um, on this device. 
13.1. Um, it does pass the safety net check. Mine won't because I have uninstalled um, some of the apps from the system, so that does not check. And I also have the systemless hosts for ad block there as well. Um, some other things it does not support voice over LTE, which is a bit unfortunate, um, but not, in my opinion, not a deal breaker. Um, normally a setting would be in here. You do have the ability to change the battery icon up here in the top right hand corner. So if you tap on this little icon there for battery, you can change icon, circle, or hide the battery altogether. And then if let's say you select circle, you can actually put the battery percentage within the icon there. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, but the battery percentage is there. Um, so that's a nice little additional uh, touch that they add. Um, again, very fast. They've worked on removing a lot of the bugs uh, from the ROM, and they that's what Paranoid Android is about now. They don't do nightly releases. Um, they only release a ROM when it is stable um, enough which in, the, in, in this case it is, it's running very fast. Again, this was just released about a day and a half ago. Um, the download was a bit slow from their website, so you may just need to be patient. You will need to have an unlocked bootloader. You will also need to have TWRP custom recovery in order to flash this. I do have videos already created on how to do all that for the next bit Robin. I'll leave links down in the description below for you to check those out. Um, Another thing is when I was charging this, the lights would come on, but in, in a little bit, the lights actually turned off. So I'm not sure if that's normal or if that's supposed to be like that. Um, I have also would have liked to see um, these lights uh, go out depending on the percentage of the battery, but unfortunately it just stays all four lit regardless of um, your battery percentage. Next, they do have, and of course, the fingerprint scanner works very fluidly, which I am happy to see as well. They also do have the ability for um, a pocket detection. So basically when the phone is in your pocket and the light sensor is basically covered and the phone turns on, you're not going to be able to use the screen at all. Um, so that's... Um, nice added protection and as you can see nothing is able to um, do anything with the screen so that is pocket de uh, detection you do have the ambient display so the screen will turn on when you receive notification and then again into the buttons you have the pie controls um, there as well double tap to sleep on the status bar that all works just fine and dandy so if you guys have any questions about uh, the next bit Robin paranoid Android 7.2 feel free to leave questions comments down below like the video don't forget to subscribe I will see you all in the next one take care